Well, welcome to another Vlogmas collab. Um, as you know, that uh, Joan at Joan's Point and Plate, Edie over at Edie's Adventure, Kim at Kim, A Girl on Her Phone, and myself have been doing some different collabs during the, uh, this month of December for our Vlogmas. Today, I am going to do a soup recipe that I'm trying for the very first time, and it is a potato soup recipe that I got off the internet. So um, let me show you all the ingredients, how to get it started, how to get it made, all that good stuff. And um, check out the links down below. I'm going to link all the other channels, which is just three other channels, um, Jones, 80s, and Kim's, so you can go over and check out and see what kind of soup they made. It was like really quick and easy. It took about two hours to make all together, and uh, it was delicious. But I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself right now. Let's go see how the soup looks. Let's see how it's made. And I'll be back at the end to let you know how I liked it. These are the ingredients you're going to need for the potato soup. Uh, you can use regular hash browns. I've decided to use the diced potatoes with onions and peppers just to get a little bit more flavor. But you can use regular hash browns if you want. Uh, if you're going to make this recipe ahead of time, it's best to thaw it. But, but I'm going to use frozen. You can use frozen or thawed either way. Uh, a quarter cup of diced onions, which is about a half of a small onion. Eight ounces of Philadelphia cream cheese. 32 ounces of chicken broth, a small can of cream of chicken soup, a quarter teaspoon of um, sea salt, and a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, and one cup of milk. We use 2% milk, and we're going to put it all in a crock pot. So let me turn you around so that we can get started. Let me show you right here real quick the ingredients so that you'll have them that you'll know. Okay, let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to add our hash brown. Oh, we're going to plug our crock pot in and we're going to turn it on high. And we're going to pour in our hash brown. We're going to add our salt and pepper. Then our onions. And then our soup mix. Oop, too big of a Start portion it out here. Our cream of chicken soup. It only calls for 28 ounces of uh, chicken broth, but I'm going to use the whole 32. I'm pretty close to it because I'm not going to save a couple ounces of soup and then pour the chicken broth in. And we give it a stir, kind of mix everything together. And once it's all incorporated together, we're just going to put the lid on it and we're going to cook it for one hour. So I will be back in an hour, but for you, real quick. Okay, it's been an hour. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add our cream cheese. Kind of separate it a little bit. And then we're going to stir it all in together. Turn the temperature down. It says to turn it down to a, a low for half an hour. I'm going to leave mine on high because this is an older crock pot and it doesn't get as, you know, hot, I guess. So um, I'm going to leave it on high for a half an hour. But according to the directions, you're supposed to turn it down to low at this point. But you know what? I think I'm going to follow the direction since I've never made this before. So let's turn this down to low. And I'll be back when it's a half an hour for me, but it won't be a half an hour for you. 
Okay, and for our final step, we're going to add a cup of milk. And we're going to let this simmer again for another 10 or 15 minutes. And then it should be ready. We'll be back. And there is the finished product. Let's go eat. The soup was delicious. Jim even loved it. Jim's not a big soup eater, so if you can get a soup by Jim for a meal, you're doing pretty good. Um, the only thing I would suggest is the recipe called for 28 ounces of chicken broth, and I thought, what the heck, I'm just going to put the whole 32 ounces in. That extra four ounces was too much. It really was. Um, I did at the end, just before we ate, I put a little bit of flour to kind of cornstarch in it to kind of thicken it up a little bit because it was a little too watery. And I do... I. That's because I put too much um, of the chicken broth in. So follow the recipe like I did and um, just um, use 28 ounces of chicken broth, not the whole 32. But it was a success. We loved it. So I'm um, looking forward to seeing what um, Joan and Edie and um, Kim have for their soups. So in the meantime, like, comment, subscribe, and share. Make sure you check out their links down below. Go over to their channel. Give them some love. And... Um, you probably like their soups. So I uh, hope you have a Merry Christmas. And today's the last day of Hanukkah. So happy Hanukkah. And I will talk to you guys soon.